G'day everyone, Brendan here from UES. We're doing a product focus today on our UES two-way paddle handles. Now these are a great setup for any type of tub toppers such as these because they can be slammed shut and electronically locked. So to begin with, you can see that the paddle handle is in the lock position. We simply press on our key fob and the door unlocks. And this particular system is using a rod catch system. So it's a little catch that goes on the end of each side of the door and it will hold an eight mil rod when the door is in the closed position. Now speaking about the back of the handle, it is a two-way paddle handle, so you have two rods connecting on the back. And we've added the electronic actuator, which means that with the push of a button, the lock can be pushed into the lock position, or with the push of a button, it can be pulled into the unlock position. So if I am a tradie, and I wanna to get tools out the back of my canopy, I can take my tools out, I can slam my door, push my lock button on the key fob and the door is locked. So for more information on products like this, please visit our website at www.uesint.com. Give us a call on 1300 00 1904 or come into one of our branches and check out what we have to offer. G'day everyone, Brendan here from UES. Today I'm gonna to run through the assembly of our two-way paddle handle. When you receive your two-way paddle latch from UES, it'll, it will arrive unassembled on the back. And this is for freight purposes, so nothing can get damaged at either the top or the rear of the pivot mechanism. So to assemble, we need to remove the back nut and the back plate. We take the spring out, don't lose that. We need to loosen this center nut about a quarter to a half way up the shaft. Just so you can lift the pivot mechanism. What to do now is open the locking cylinder tab. Make sure this latching arm here on the top left is pointing down. Rotate the pivot plate 45 degrees. Now it's in its latching position. You take your spring and there's a little hole of the top of the pivot plate and a bar down the bottom right hand of the rear of the handle. So to get this into place, we rotate the handle. We lift the back mechanism up a little bit and turn it and then it will find its locating position just like that. From here, we tighten up the center nut so it holds the pivot plate in place. It's nice and tight. What we want to do now is make sure that the seal around the front of the handle is sitting all the way around. We take a backing bracket and feed it back through and onto the shaft and fit the nut onto the shaft to hold the back bracket which would hold the handle against the door. And that's it, we're done. Locking tab on the cylinder back into place. Turn the handle over, cannot lift. Get the keys, unlock the handle, and we have two-way paddles. So our rods would get pulled from this point and this point when the handle is operated and then we get that snapping lock cylinder back into place. And there we have it. Thanks very much.